All right, y'all. So uh, to get into the next part now, uh, as far as actually building the chords and the easy technique that I was telling you about, uh, there is a chord progression. And for our purposes, we're going to call it a 2-5-1 uh, for my members who are maybe a little more advanced or whatever. You guys will probably know the proper name. But for our purposes, we're going to call it a 2-5-1 progression. Now, this is a progression that's popular in jazz stuff, uh, but it's also popular in r&b uh you know some pop songs and you can even use it for hip-hop although it might be a little bit too happy sounding for hip-hop uh but basically here is what this is uh, if you take a look at it so minor seventh is going to be your two chord dominant seventh is going to be your five and major seventh is your one so what does that mean uh ignore this part over here for a second so basically, uh, you're going to pick a scale, whatever scale you want. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what is the second key in F major. Okay. So if you take a look at it, it's right here. So C, D, E, F, that's a G, right? So I know for my first chord, I'm going to be using a G and it's going to be a minor seventh chord. So I can look that up, G minor seventh. And this is my first chord that I'm going to start the track with. Then I'm going to look at what my second note is, okay? And I already did this, uh, and I'm just writing these in here because it's simpler um, than trying to memorize them. So uh, the second one would be a C, and that's going to be the fifth note in my uh, scale, and that's going to be always a dominant seventh chord. So this is my second chord. Uh, actually, not this, but we have to select C. This is my second chord, so it's a C dominant seventh chord. And then my third chord is... Uh, F is based on the root note of F so you can select that and it's always going to be a major seventh chord okay and this is my third chord now you can do this for whatever little you know key you want basically and it's always going to work so it's something that you don't have to think about and you guys will see in the next step how it actually sounds um, it'll give you a nice full R&B sound not too happy uh, not overly uh, sad or anything like that uh, just a nice R&B sound to build with so let's jump in the next section and we'll actually get started on the beat <laughs> 